Hi, this is Travis with POSKies.com. I'm gonna go over the instructions for setting up Scan to Connect on an Android device. You can use this on an Android phone, an Android mobile computer, tablet, anything that's running a version of the OS that supports Scan to, scan to Connect uh, can be used. Uh, the easiest way to find out if your device supports it is go to the Play Store and search for Scan to Connect. So I open up Play Store on my Android mobile computer here and you can just search for Scan to Connect and you'll see it and it's made by Zebra Technologies. Click it and then you go to install. It's going to want some basic uh, permissions. Go ahead and accept those. And it's a rather big install file, almost 80 megabytes. Not sure why, <laughs> there's not much to it, um, but uh, make sure your mobile device does have enough storage for that. So go ahead and open it up. If it's a Zebra mobile computer, uh, then it's gonna have a few less steps than if you're using like a Samsung Galaxy phone or a Google Pixel device. Um, first thing you're gonna have to do is enable the special keyboard for it. Uh, this can be disabled if you're on a non-Zebra computer afterwards, but initial setup you need to enable this. So you go to language and input and you're gonna see a Zebra scan to connect. Turn that on. And you hit the back button. It's gonna ask you to change the keyboard. You're now gonna have to enable it. And you select Zebra scan to connect. And then if you're on a Zebra device, you're ready to pair. So if I take the barcode scanner, scan the barcode, then it'll go ahead and pair and then you'll see a uh, warning up on the screen. It'll ask if you do want to pair with this device or not. And then you just say yes. And that confirmation beep means that it is working. Uh, Zebra says that sometimes you need to uh, restart Android after installing the application. Uh, if you're having problems connecting initially, that is something you should do. I'm going to go ahead and scan a barcode. And you can see on the screen where the cursor was is now the number that I scanned. So it works as simple as that. Uh, with the um, scan to connect, if you're using a non-Zebra computer, the extra step you're going to have to be is you're going to see this screen where it's going to ask for your MAC address and then it'll give you a link there that you can click to um, go to where in your settings uh, your MAC address is displayed. To find your Bluetooth MAC address, you're going to go into your settings and depending on your version of Android, this will be slightly different. On this device, you go into the About section and then you go into Status and Bluetooth address is uh, listed there down below. So what you're going to want to do is you can grab a screen capture. You also might just want to write it down uh, on a pad and paper. And you're going to want to write it down in all caps. When you enter it into Scan to Connect, it needs to go in all caps and you do need to enter the colons. If you put in with lowercase, it's going to have a problem connecting and you'll get a, an error message saying failed to connect and uh, your device will give an error beep whenever you try to pair. One other interesting setting in Scan to Connect is the ability to auto launch an application. So under the settings here, there's a launch application after connect. If you enable that, it'll give you a list of applications installed on your device and uh, if you have a um, application that you made then you can select it from this list or if you want to open the browser uh, or any other application then you just can simply select it and then when the device pairs that application automatically launches so it's a little efficiency thing that they added in. Um, that's the basic steps for getting uh, scan to connect working on your Android device with a Zebra barcode scanner. Remember this only works for specific models of Zebra scanners. It won't work for scanners from other manufacturers and this is available uh, for Android and then there's a version available for Windows. It is not available in iOS at this time. For more information on scan to connect or to purchase please visit us at posguys.com. Thanks.